I felt like the food was pretty distinct between France and Belgium, maybe just the food that the missionaries eat. Um, of course, in Belgium, that's the birthplace of French fries, frites, that's the birthplace of the waffle, like the real waffle, and um, in France, the bread is just incredible. Um, if you, you're lucky enough to serve in Liège, um, you're going to have the, that's the place where the original waffle comes. It's called the Liège Gaufre, and they heat it up, it's thick thick waffle like you've never had a waffle this thick you've never had a waffle this hard they heat it up they poke holes in it and then they put chocolate inside and so you're eating this waffle and there's just chocolate inside and there's little like sugar crystals in there and you can have chocolate you can have honey you can have cinnamon and I remember maybe having more than one on a day you know it's like oh it's we've been contacting for like two hours it's time to get another waffle um it's just so great. There's waffle places in Belgium on every corner. There's frite stands in every corner in France and Belgium. And I think the biggest adjustment, one thing that I wasn't expecting was um, the kebab culture in France. Um, the Turkish kebab has just taken over France. People love it. People love it in Belgium. Um, the first time you look inside a kebab restaurant, um, you're just going to think, no, I, I don't think I should go in there. No, that, that doesn't look like a that doesn't look like I'd be welcome there. But you walk in and they have, I'd never seen one of these before, but it's just a big hunk of meat turning in front of heaters. And I just thought the first time I saw it, I'm like, um, I'll have the chicken. I tell her I want chicken. And they have these little shaver things and you shave off the meat and you kind of heat it up more. And I asked for chicken and apparently there was some chicken in that meat because that's what I got in my um, kebab. Um, in Belgium, they have what's called a mitraillette. In French, that's called a machine gun. And when you see it, it's a machine gun. It's a French baguette, just huge. It's a French baguette with the um, kebab meat, which I have no idea what kind of meat it is. We don't ask. We just, it's, but it's delicious and with lots of different vegetables on top and they have hundreds of different sauces. They have so many different kinds of sauces that you've never tasted before and that you can put that on top. And then on top of all that, they put a ton of frites, a ton of French fries. And you think the first time I saw one, I thought I could never eat that. That's huge. Like there's more fries on that than like a super sized French fry. And they're these thick steak fries. They're so good. And honestly, like I just remember my first night watching the sister eat one. And I thought, no, I can never eat one of those. They're too big. And it became such like a ritual. You eat one like at least once a week. Like if not on P-Day, then... If you're having a rough day, you go into the kebab shop and grab one. <laughs> in France, um, the bread is just incredible. Um, the French people use different flour, and so their bread is lighter. And so you see people with tons of baguettes. They just they take you know five or six ba long um, long baguettes, and they'll carry them under their arm, and they'll get that every single day. They'll buy it fresh. In France, there is a bakery on each corner. There's patisseries on each corners and on each corner and it's so delicious all the bread all the pastries and it's it's so delicious so many different kinds that you've never had before so many different tastes and such a different texture and such a different kind of consistency than american um, pastries